Uh, today we are going to study one dimension with with equation and this is Sammy teaching you so uh, what happens is uh, here in one uh, dimension with equation we are taking a boundary value pro problems which model the wave phenomenon in the problem of vibrating string so what we consider is uh, uh, elastic, uh, elastic string of length L uh, this is of length L which is fastened at the ends on the x-axis at x is equal to 0 and x is equal to L the string is then the string is then uh, displaced and then released to vibrate in the x-plane so when you give a force uh, it will vibrate up and down vibrate in the xt plane this is xt plane and where uh, where our uxt uxt denotes the vertical displacement of the vibrating string so we use the initial boundary value problem modeling the motion of the string given by the equation one dimensional wave equation del square u upon del t square is equal to c square del square u upon del x square so this is the whole this is the equation we are going to deal with so uh, the next step is uh, we use separation of variable method wherein we suppose u is equal to x y where x capital X uh, is dependent on a small x and y on small y so here y is t so we suppose uh, x of x and t of t so uh, we sub uh, we got u is equal to x t so what we do is substitute this equation this equation into this one so we get uh, by double differentiating we get x t double dash is equal to c square x double dash t so we separate t and x differently 1 by c square is equal to x double dash by x so t and x are sep separated uh, where is t is separated on uh, left hand side and x on right hand side rhs so we, we assume this to be equal to minus of p square actually there are three cases case one where we suppose this whole equation to zero and case two to minus p square and case three to p square so we suppose the third uh, second case minus p square and mostly we use uh, this case uh, mostly we use this case only so what we do now is equate this one to this minus p square and x double dash divided by x to this and get uh, different uh, uh, equations so firstly uh, we get t double dash is equal to minus p square c square t so we took this here and we are going to get uh, this one t double dash plus p square c square t is equal to 0 so from here we get and we can uh, write t double dash as t square plus p square c square into t is equal to 0 right so here this whole equation can't be 0 so we suppose t is equal to be 0 so what we get is t uh, square is equal to minus p square c square so t we get is plus minus iota pc so when you solve this we will get the equation t is equal to c1 cos pct plus c2 sin pct <coughs> so we got uh, the first one that's uh, equation of t and now so, uh, equate so what we get is uh, x double dash divided by x is equal to minus p square and we get x double dash plus p square x is equal to 0 
so we can write it as d square plus p square x is equal to 0 we can't uh, substitute at 0 so x is equal to 0 so what we get is d square is equal to minus p square so d is equal to plus minus iota p and so what we get is uh, the equation of x equation of x we get is c3 cos px plus c4 sin px and we got this equation and this equation to of it so uh, we got the value of uh, x and t so our equation was u of x is equal to x of x and t of t so our u uh, we get uh, we substitute the value of x from equation 1 uh, from equation 2 and tx from equation 1 so what we get is c1 cos pct plus c2 sin pct and c3 cos px plus c4 sin px so uh, from here what we do is uh, we apply our boundary uh, boundary conditions so by applying by applying boundary conditions so uh, we uh, apply boundary conditions at two points that is at x is equal to 0 uh, and x is equal to L because uh, at these two points uh, the string is at stationary position so what we find is u of 0 t so we have to find u of 0 t that means we have to put 0 in this equation that means x is substituted as 0 in this equation so what we get from here is um, uh, let it, this be c3 and c4 and this one be c1 and c2 you can either write that one as earlier earlier so what we do is so we 0 t what we get is c1 plus 0 c3 cos pct plus c4 sine pct uh, and in here we got c2 sine px as 0 because c2 sine of 0 is sine of 0 is 0 so we got 0 and c1 that's cos cos 1 is uh, cos 0 is 1 so we are left with c1 so c1 c3 cos pct plus c4 sine pct and so from here it's pretty obvious that uh, like c1 should be 0 because at this position the string is uh, stationary at the stationary position so our u of, u of x is 0 so this should be equal to 0 so obviously from this whole equation uh, this can't be 0 uh, this can't be 0 obviously or else the whole equation will be uh, wiped away so we should assume c1 as 0 so when putting c1 as 0 uh, we get the equation so next boundary condition we have to apply is u of x i uh, know from here what we got is u of x t so our equation we got is simplified equation we got is now put a c1 0 in this equation so th this whole term will be uh, neglected and we what we get is and sign the sign sign 0 so what we get is c2 sign px c3 cos pct plus c4 sin pct so we got the value of u of xt and now the our second boundary condition is u of l of t where uh, in, in this case 
where our x is equal to l and it's in a stationary position so u of x t is assumed to be zero here also so where there is x a substitute x is equal to l in this equation uh, in this equation remember uh, don't make mistake in this point so make uh, x as l in this equation so what we get is c2 sine pl and c3 cos p c t so we don't have any term of x so it remains the same and changed and from here i told you we assume u of x t to be zero because at this point our string is uh, at station so zero c2 sine p l c3 cos p c t the same equation c4 sine p c t so from here c2 can't be zero like uh, c1 it can't be zero because if you put c2 here zero this equation it becomes zero this whole equation it already becomes zero so the whole equation becomes zero so we don't need that so what is the possible portion is sine pl sine pl should be should be zero so we know that sine n pi is equal to zero so sine n pi is zero so sine pl should be can be sine n pi so when we uh, current to some manipulations we get pl is equal to n pi so from here we get the value of p as n pi by n pi by l and from here we got the final not the final uxt the new uxt equation c2 sine i mean like put a uh, value of p p as n pi by l in this uh, in the real equation okay sine n pi sine n pi x x uh, mm, sine n pi x by l c3 cos n pi c t by l plus c4 sine n pi by l Uh, remember like uh, we are putting p is equal to n pi by l in this equation in third equation so we got this so uh, we applied the boundary conditions and we got this equation so <clears throat> what's our next step is uh, uh, initial condition it's pretty pretty lengthy but then things are pretty easy if you are used to it so uh, here what we do is u of u u of x of t we have u of x of t as our equation and what we do is we differentiate du by dt what's that distance upon time so distance upon time time is uh, velocity we study that in physics as well so what we do is differentiate this one so t by u of x of t by dt. So what we are going to do differentiate is we are going to differentiate this equation. We are going to differentiate this equation here. This equation. So when we differentiate this equation, uh, there is no term of uh, t. So this remains the same. C2 sine n pi x by l and this becomes c3 minus of sine n pi c t by l into n pi c by l plus c4 cos n pi c t by l n pi c by l so it's not very important so what we got is u dash of x of 0 so time is zero here initial condition we put time is zero so what we got is uh, c of 2 sine n pi x by l so uh, this whole portion it 
uh, tends to be zero because uh, when we put t t as zero in this equation, sine of zero, sine of zero is zero plus c four n pi c by l because we have cos of zero, cos of zero is one, so we got we are left with c two sine n pi x by l zero uh, sorry c four n pi c by l so you have u dash of x of t this very important step uh, the final step and uh, and uh, when we r to release the string that um, the velocity then is zero. I mean, like when we are about to release uh, our string from here, or I mean, vibrate when you shake it, the initial speed of the string is obviously zero. So u of x t is supposed to be zero. So that's why we are equating u of x t as zero in uh, boundary conditions and initial initial conditions as well. So what we do is substitute so this zero c two sine n pi x by l c4 okay c4 n pi c by l so 0 so we multiply this to uh, c2 c2 c4 is equal to p and we just assume c2 c4 is a big n because c2 c4 are constants anyways so p n sin uh, sorry n pi c by this is n pi c by l this one sine n pi x by l so so from here we know that b n can't be zero uh, i mean sorry b n should be zero because this whole portion this can't be zero and remember that our b b n is c2 and c4 so <coughs> uh, now what we do is Put all the values uh, of p n, uh, whatever equation, uh, whatever whatever like, values we got, is, like p n and all, uh, in our previous equation, that is uh, in this equation, in this equation, in this fourth equation, this one. So when we substitute uh, in this equation, in this equation, what we get is u of x of t is equal to sine of n pi x pi l c2 c3 cos n pi c by l plus this is sine sine portion is 0 so from here what we got is uh, sine n pi x by l and we assume these two as a n a n cos n pi c t by l so from here uh, this is our final equation and from this equation we know that we have value of n n sin n a n and cos n so uh, we have uh, n which is varying from one particular value to value to another it can be from minus, minus infinity to any uh, in, uh, to infinite number so what we do is uh, Laplace, uh, Laplace uh, that is we use summation n is equal to 0 from infinite uh, and a n sine n pi x by l so cos n pi c t by l so this is the final equation and uh, this must solve your question thank you